Scientists just created the most accurate map of the human brain in history, and we're all allowed to access it. Anthony here for D News, and we do a lot of talking about the brain on this channel, and why not? Here's the supercomputer that controls the human experience. Consciousness regulates our physical functions, interprets input from our senses. The human brain is amazing, and we know so little about it. There are so many things that we could cure and fix and change about ourselves if we understood it better. There's a video about that here on the channel, and we'll put the link in for you. So there are multiple efforts out there to get a better reference model of the brain. You probably heard about the one we're doing here in the US, but researchers in Germany and Canada working as part of the European Human Brain Project just made a huge advance. Big Brain is a three-dimensional digital reconstruction of the human brain down to 20 microns of visual accuracy. 20 microns! If you want to picture how small that is, a single strand of your hair is about 75 microns wide. So Micron is a pretty fitting name. Big Brain is a big deal because it's got 50 times the spatial resolution of any other available reference brain. Up until now, we scanned people with fMRIs and we could zoom into about one millimeter of resolution, a macroscopic level, visible to the human eye. Now, we're getting into microscopic things like cellular circuits. We're getting right down into the wiring of the whole thing and looking at the human brain at a multicellular level. That means researchers can take the patterns of activity that they see in fMRIs and other scans and then apply it directly to the simulated bits of big brain to get insights into really huge questions. How does cognition actually work? What about language? Why do we feel emotions? We can use it practically to create new medical procedures and better medicines. So how is big brain made? In the coolest, ickiest way possible. They took the brain of a 65 year old woman, presumably when she was done using it, and they put it into a microtome, which is basically this really precise scientific cousin of a deli meat slicer, and then they just got to slicing. The brain was cut into 7,400 slices that were 20 microns thick. Then they stained each slice, scanned them, and reassembled them digitally. And here's what's cool. They didn't just do it for their program or for some tiny elite group of scientists. You can sign up for an account and get into Big Brain yourself. Zoom around, play with it, download it. First person to 3D print it gets a digital high five. Now, this is not the end, oh no. There is far more to map. There is far more detail to drill down into. The Big Brain team hopes to get those slices down to the one micron level. Then we are looking at single cell morphology. How is our brain formed on a cellular level? That is when we're gonna see some stuff. We've been making such huge advances into our own building blocks, the genome, the microbiome, and now the brain. We're about to unlock some crazy stuff about what makes us human. So what do you think is the most important? Brains versus genes, fight. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.